Hi guys and welcome back. I hope we're doing well. So it is currently Sunday morning and I'm actually going to say Sunday morning with big quotation marks. Oh my god. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> it's currently two minutes past twelve. Um, I'm only just getting ready. Whoops. <laughs> I've had a very Cinderella kind of morning. I've done a lot of housework, got one load of washing on and hung outside because it's actually still kind of nice. So that's uh, the things you get excited about by being an adult is that it's still nice outside so you can hang your washing out. <laughs> Right, so I wanted to do a get ready with me today, just have a sit down and have a chat and a bit of a catch up. There's a few things that people have been requesting and asking for, which I thought during this video would be the perfect time to highlight. So I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Quick Fix, and this is the Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. This is what I've been using as of late, and my makeup's been sitting better since I've been using this. You just have to bear with me. I had my second vaccination yesterday. But yeah, my oh, it's really achy and I really didn't sleep very well last night. So I'm now gonna go in with my Fit Me by Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I know some people probably watch me doing this and have an actual epi fit. <laughs> oh, I've done it wrong every time i swear as soon as i put the camera on is when i do this wrong okay i'm gonna have to work really quickly i need to do my brows so i've just got a little lavender soap and i'm gonna use my mac fix setting spray get my little spoolie which is broken so everything i use today will be down in the description box for you just because Although I'll try and remember to tell you everything I'm using, half the time I miss stuff. <laughs> right, okay, so I've just done my brows. Now I can actually sort my foundation out. So this is such a good match because it doesn't look like I'm putting any foundation on. It just evens my skin tone out. Yeah, so it's definitely a much better match to my skin. Nothing exciting today but I am switching up the colour eyeliner that I use so I'm going to go in with my brown. What I'm using today is my Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner which is this one right here. This is amazing when it comes to wings. I always get the most beautiful and perfect wing going. Right okay so I'm going to start with the Benefit. So that's the nib just for reference. Right bear with me. <laughs> I get such a good wing and most of the time I can get them pretty bang on so I'm actually quite happy with that. That's the quickest I've done it in such a long time. Okay so now that I can actually move on to stuff where I can talk I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on. Obviously in my last video I talked about the fact that I was going up to London for a weekend and then for the bank holiday. Things changed, life happens the London weekend didn't go ahead for some personal reasons everyone is fine it just wasn't it just wasn't the right time to do it and that's okay so we're just postponing it until a better date so that'll be something to look forward to and then my bank holiday which was meant to be for alt London that didn't go ahead the festival did but I didn't go for a number of reasons. Instead, I had a really wholesome day with my friends. I went up to London still, and we went to Swingers Golf, or Swingers Mini Golf. We had a really good fun time, and then we wandered back to Liverpool Street where my train was then gonna be departing back home, and we went to, I think it was Italy, and had the most amazing homemade pasta. Bloody beautiful. So I still had a really nice day. I think I had a nicer day just spending some one-on-one -on -one time with them. So that's that side of it. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the last, I think three, three or four videos, I've updated 
the graphics for my YouTube and just made it a bit more up to date, a bit more me now, as obviously it's been a year and I think I've done a huge amount of growing over the last year of, of starting this channel. So I've updated it, it's more upbeat, it's a bit more me, it's just, I was really proud of what I made. All my sites that Little Tinker Talk is on with the new graphics and it's just, it's just really cool, really wholesome. I'm just really in love with it. <laughs> just aches like such a bitch. <laughs> I feel like such a wimp, oh my God, send help. I addressed this on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago just because I get the same message a lot and I mean a lot about my hair <laughs> people asking how I do it how I get my hair the way it is you know how do I make it curly and I just want to say now my hair is naturally curly the only bit I tend to is my fringe and any sort of stray bits on the top from where I sleep that's all I do and I put coconut oil and coconut treatments in it to keep it healthy because it's blonde and curly. The next one was then people asking for a hair tutorial video and I'm gonna say now I'm not gonna do one. There is no point. I know that people have asked sort of what I do care wise and stuff but I quite literally I wash my hair, I shampoo it, I condition it, I let it dry naturally and then I sort my fringe out. There is no point doing a video. There, that is not a video. <laughs> that is quite literally all I do. I can let you know what products I use in my hair if that's something you guys want. But again, that's not gonna be a YouTube video. That's something I'd put up in my stories so that you can see it. I'm just, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because I know it's really highly requested and I know that these messages will still come along. <laughs> but I won't be doing like a hair tutorial because there's no point. Oh, the biggest thing, which I am um, absolutely blown away by is there's over a thousand of you now what the fuck I honestly am blown away I seriously ugh, I cannot fathom that there are a thousand of you and I'm just so grateful and just still I still don't quite believe it like when I see like it says there's like over a thousand of you and I'm genuinely I'm constantly in awe because I wow just I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I'm so thankful that you've decided to join me on this this journey <laughs> that we're going on in uh, in the YouTube world yeah I have so much love for each and every one of you and yeah I'm I'm so grateful I really am I'm just blown away. It's it's mad. And I certainly didn't expect to have the amazing community that is you guys that support me on every upload and I'm pretty certain I've seen a couple of you on my Instagram as well. So thank you so much from the absolute bottom of my heart. I'm blown away. I just realized I've done it again. So I primed my eyelashes a little while ago and I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara Primer, which is obviously my usual go-to. And then I've just set my face and that's using the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent. Translucent Setting Powder, words. So this makeup look is definitely gonna be a little quicker than normal. I'm dialing back my makeup a bit. I found that it was becoming very, very, heavy so like when i was doing my brows they were very dark and my contour was really dark so i was using the darkest one because as you guys know or if you haven't seen previously you know i've hit pan on those two oh, i keep hitting my elbow so i don't want to go to waste so i have been hitting this one i just need to be a bit more conscious of how much i use so i did my makeup yesterday and i just tested and trialed it a few different ways just to see how I can make it look a bit more, I don't know if natural is the word, but pulled back, refined. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly go in with a little bit of my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronzed, my Ride or Die. I'm not gonna use a lot, I'm just gonna define that cheekbone a little bit. Yeah, I'm using this one, which I believe is somber, so just 
and then gently buffing it in. It's a bit more subtle than normal, but I think it just looks really pretty. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys saw. I, I'm calling it my quarter life crisis and I've shaved both sides of my head. <laughs> Adding more just to build it up, which is a much, much nicer way of doing it. And I'm gonna go with the bronzer a bit more now, just to bring some warmth back in. So this is how we're looking. So the only thing left to do now is my mascara and my lipstick. So I'm going over Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. This is my fave, my ride or die. As you would have noticed in previous videos because it's always being used <laughs> hey, i think i've gone over the bits i wanted to talk to you guys about that i either forgot to mention in the last video and obviously then just what's happened since sorry my camera died how unusual <laughs> Okay, so I've no idea if I've been super boring and rambly. I know I've read off everything that I listed as stuff I forgot to read off last time and what's happened in between, but I guarantee I will turn this off and other bits will come to mind. <laughs> I really do this more often. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm also, through October, going to set myself a challenge with makeup looks. So I'm gonna do one or two Get Ready With Me videos where I will be going big and bold and bright with my eyeshadow just to obviously celebrate this Halloween and getting a bit funky with what I do. But obviously, if you guys also have any sort of requests, I know that the hair one was one, but I've already addressed that. <laughs> but yeah, if there's anything that you guys would obviously like to see from me, then please let me know and I'll always try and accommodate where I can. I've settled on my lipstick now. I'm going to use my Zoeva Wicker Wings. I love this lipstick. It's a really nice liquid matte. Just gives me some, gives me some proper grunge vibes and I'm really feeling that at the minute. <laughs> right, let me see if I can do this proper quick for you guys. I'll quickly just show you how dark it is. So with my normal lip. So that's just really quickly. I need to tidy it up, obviously. <laughs> but, love this colour. I'll be back in a few. 12 rage induced minutes later <laughs> and the lipstick is done. I am very much here for this look. Right, I'm gonna quickly actually get ready because I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get dressed, uh, pick my jeans and some boots, and then I will come back and I'll show you the finished look. Right, okay, I changed up the top. <laughs> Both tops of which are literally an Olympic sport to get in and out of. Of course, I choose the day after my vaccine when my arm feels like it's been hit by a bus to choose those kinds of tops but there we go i've added my amazing choker i will link the brand down below for you just that if you want to go and grab one then you can i'm then wearing my new stradivarius sort of washed black skinny jeans my favorite studded western belt and then on my feet i'm wearing my zara super chonk combat -y boots in all black as usual so there you have it a bit of makeup a bit of a chat an outfit uh <laughs> today's video is something else it really is <laughs> nonetheless i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you here again next week